Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here with another logic quick tip. Today we are looking at the MIDI chase function. MIDI chase is really useful where if you see the example here I have lots of sustained notes for example maybe I've got a chordal pattern that's underlying or a sustained bass note or if you're doing media composition or film composition you might have a drone. For example if you decide that you want to start working on this section here because you want to start editing these these notes and getting them in the right place what happens is, if I play this now, these notes here aren't playing. And that can be problematic, A, because you can't hear what's going on, what your full mix sounds like. Um, also, you can't hear what all the parts are playing, and that can be crucial, particularly if you're deciding on harmony, or actually if you're deciding on what your overall mix sounds like. So instead of having these notes playing, for example, have is these notes here and then it picks up again from here. So this note here, if I pull that up, yeah, it's just like that. This note here, this C, doesn't get played on this loop. So you can't hear it and uh, you might miss out on that. So the easiest way to do that is if you go to your project settings and go to uh, MIDI, select MIDI. Under here you will see the chase function. What you need to do is select notes. So you've got sustained here. So what's happened now is any sustained notes prior to the area you're playing will be picked up and played. And also chase on cycle jump. Make sure that is turned on. Um, and they should all be playing happily now. So it doesn't really matter that these notes are missing. So a really useful tip there for when you're mixing or when you're another way of doing it if you don't want to do that but it's a little bit more of a faff if you uh, add in a, a freeze option there if you freeze the track then this will keep the notes and it will render it as audio and then you could it will pick up any points that you're playing so that that's another way of doing it it's just a, a bit longer and then if you want to change anything it's more a bit more of a mess so midi chase i hope you found that useful